Hello, quick tutorial today about how to export a VDB from Ember Gen into Unreal Engine 5. So first thing you want to do is from the volume processing tab inside of your scene, click and drag out from the VDB dots and create an export VDB node. Here is really simple, set your directory and your folders, give it a name, frame range, and hit export now. I've already done that so I'm not going to take the time to do that. But depending on how heavy your scene is, it could take a little bit of time. And that's it from Embergen. It's really simple and easy. And now we're going to head into under, inside of Unreal Engine 5. So inside of Unreal Engine 5, you want to take a VDB file, just drag it into the content folder. And then you want to make sure this import sequence is checked. And you can leave everything else the same and hit import. just about done okay next thing you want to do is go to engine type in sparse volume material and then click and drag this into the folder where you want your VDB to go into and hit copy here next uh, right click create a material instance give it a name of whatever you need it to be open it up and then click and drag your VDB right here into this sparse volume texture. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to check this albedo color. You want to check this black body scale, black body temperature scale. You want to check this clamp SVT density and make it true. Density scale, both density attributes A and density mask and then clamp SVT temperature and check that and check both of these and then you want to change this max on the temperature tab to 0.55 and that is all you have to do from here on this tab so save that you can close it out next thing you want to do is click go add and you can type in heterogeneous volume click and drag that out into your scene um, I've got a little scene right here um, I'm doing for this challenge but I'm trying to make a lantern right there okay so now that you have that in there uh, what you want to do is you want to drag the material instance right here into here and then you want to go down here to where it says plane and click on that and looping uh, real time on and here it is so there's the fire so you bring that up Oops. let's bring it up and there it is let me put this back to lit uh, so I have it set up for night scene right here but as you can see it's going to continuously play and loop for however many frames you have so keep that in mind so if you want a longer animation or simulation make sure you have the frame range set to be longer but that's it it's really quick and easy and it's you know it's playing in real time and Unreal Engine 5 and Embergen workflow is very powerful well, that's it thanks for watching